What's up guys? Welcome to This Week in MXA, episode number 51. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, we're gonna be talking about that all new electric bike that is floating around social media and our website. We're also gonna be talking about the KTM factory edition launch, Husqvarna factory edition launch, and the HRC Honda factory team intro. We've had a busy week. I'm in Orlando, Florida right now, getting ready to head back to California later tonight. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, we gotta start this thing off with the most dramatic and just kind of wild off the wall topic, the Stark Future Varg motorcycle. And it's an electric dirt bike that claims to have over 80 horsepower. That's insane for a motorcycle. 30% uh, stronger than the fastest 450s right now on the market. It also claims to have a battery life that goes the equivalent of what a 450 fuel tank would go as well. So very, very wild stuff. It has Swedish roots. Um, the CEO is Swedish. The word Varg comes from uh, the Swedish term for wolves. And uh, Matt Rabot, Sebastian Tortelli, Josh Hill have been riding and helping the team develop this motorcycle. And uh, they showed some pretty cool videos and pretty cool photos of the new bike. Even had Josh Hill talking a little bit on the video. You'll have to check out our website, motocrossactionmag.com, where we have the full press release, some cool photos of the bike, plus a very detailed video about the motorcycle coming from uh, Stark Future. It's pretty interesting. And they did a great job of explaining their goals behind the project and what the motorcycle is all about. I can't wait to get my hands on one. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to test one in the near future, hopefully sometime in 2022. Retail price, $13,500. It's gonna be very interesting to see what it looks like and what it runs like on the track. All right, next up, my favorite topic in this video, um, something that I will never forget. Husqvarna flew out Travis Fant and myself. Travis is MXA's videographer and the Dirt Bike Magazine videographer. He uh, works for both sister publications from High Torque. And uh, so Travis and I were both doing it. He was representing Dirt Bike Magazine, me representing Motocross Action. And we had a lot of fun. We got to ride motorcycles at the Baker's factory. We got to train with the Baker's Factory boys. We did a Sunday recovery day with them, which was a 20 mile road bike ride with Alden Baker, Aaron Plessinger, Malcolm Stewart, Dean Wilson, Styles Robertson, Jay League Swole, and RJ Hampshire, and Mike Brown, the other trainer at the Baker's Factory. So that was Sunday morning. Then we got to spend the afternoon at Top Golf. Then we went to the Baker's Factory Sunday evening for the Rockstar Edition. 450 and 250 launch and the team introduction. So that was super fun. And then came back to the Baker's factory uh, Monday. We did a 20 mile road bike ride first around the Claremont Lake. Then we did uh, motos at the Baker's factory. We got to ride on his sand track on, I got to ride a 2022 FC 350 Husky. So it's not the all new model. It was kind of a bummer. We didn't get to ride the new Rockstar editions, but we will be able to ride those in January and we'll have uh, articles and videos coming out all about those bikes and then and how they work on the track but we rode a stock husky 350 um, and then afterwards we got to watch uh, the factory guys doing some training laps on the supercross track that was super cool 
Then we got to spend a, a, maybe like two hours, an hour and a half at least in the gym with them working out and uh, we, got, we got our butts kicked, but it was a lot of fun. We got a lot more content coming from the Baker's Factory soon, so stay tuned to motocrossactionmag.com and our YouTube channel for more coming from this trip. If you wanna learn more about the Rockstar Edition models, you can read all about them on our website. Last 10 laps, you decided that you want to switch line. Yeah. Why did it take you so long to make a change? Like, that's like yeah. the mental side of things that you, we always talk about. And cool. <laughs> that's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. That's Predator. Next up, back to the start of this past week was the KTM Factory Edition launch. Um, this bike wasn't a huge uh, well-kept secret. A lot of people have been talking about the 2023 models and the Factory Edition models coming out from KTM as being an all new bike. It's true, all new engines for the 250s and 450s, all new frames for both models. And uh, it's a lot, a lot of updates. We had a good time at KTM headquarters last Wednesday, learning all about the bikes and also getting to interview Cooper Webb, Max Volan, Marvin Musson, and Aaron Plusinger. So it's a good time over there. The new bike is pretty wild. If you haven't learned about the new bike and haven't seen our video, you can check it out, motocrossactionmag.com or our YouTube channel where I get to interview the North American CEO for KTM uh, Race Ready Brands is John Hines. Got to talk to him. And it's pretty cool to see that the CEO of the company for North America was actually riding and testing the bike before it came into production. So that's pretty cool. Also got to talk to Roger DeCoster about the new motorcycle, what he's excited about for it. And my friend, Ryan Sarancha, who's the product manager. He knows all the details about the new bikes and about really everything KTM, Husky, and Gas Gas. So, if you haven't seen that video, check it out on our website. We go into all the details about that new KTM. And next up, we also had a lot of fun at Blackmore Ranch last Thursday for the Honda HRC factory team intro. They have a pretty small track there. I don't think everybody understood really how small the track was at Blackmore Ranch. Um, it's kind of, it's not really a pit bike track, but it's a tamed down vet track and it's perfect for, uh, for having fun on and, and for a backyard track. It's in an awesome location in Marietta, California, but a little bit small for guys like Ken Roxon, Chase Sexton, Jet and Hunter Lawrence to jump on with their factory bikes and super cross suspension and stuff like that. So with that being said, putting factory guys on a small little track, they started goon riding and messing around on the track and it made for some really funny videos. And uh, then Hunter Lawrence went and jumped on the flat track and that was really fun to watch. And uh, Ken Roxon, Chase Sexton and his brother Jet all joined him over there. To be honest with you, I think flat track is in a great, 
practice uh, skill and a great skill to know how to do for, even for supercross riders. So we had a lot of fun hanging out that Honda team intro. Check out the full video with all the guys goon riding and, and even just some serious laps as well on our website and on our YouTube channel. All right, guys. So that's it for this week at MXA episode number 51. Thank you for tuning in. We got a lot of cool content that we're going to be releasing on our website, motocrossactionmag.com, on our Instagram, at motocrossactionmag and on our YouTube channel. So subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with what we got going on and see our website for more on the Stark Future electric motorcycle, the KTM factory edition, Rockstar Husqvarna factory edition, and pretty soon more content from the Baker's factory with me and Travis Fant getting our butts kicked. It was a lot of fun. Let's check it out.